myself, Deva Kavala, I'm the CEO for Atal Incubation Center Rambhav Malgi Prabodini, which is supported by Atal Innovation Mission Niti Aayog. Uh, out here, uh, we are going to really talk about uh, the startup ecosystem, incubation centers, acceleration, what are the different platforms that are being there. But very important uh, for me to talk on incubation center per se, how the incubation center should really look at different startups. Uh, what are your asks from the incubation center? That is important because if you would see the ecosystem, uh, there are a lot of players and uh, there is state government, central government, corporate, academia, private incubators, private platforms and public platforms. Uh, there are important key stakeholders uh, within the ecosystem. That is uh, Atal Innovation Mission, Niti Aayog is working uh, very strongly on this uh, with the right approach. Uh, there is Department of Science and Technology, uh, there is Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, uh, there is uh, also MSME uh, platform that has been created by the government. There are a lot of grants that are available uh, to the startups uh, at the idea level as well. And at the same point of time, it's also about the funders that are available within the ecosystem, that, which includes angel investors, which includes venture capital firms, and also HNIs. Uh, so how would you really look at the entire landscape within the ecosystem and how would you select the uh, right set of platform is what uh, we would really like to highlight within this. Because as an incubation center, the hand-holding and the mentoring is the most important aspect. And also, whether the incubation center has got the right uh, set of vertical or sector-specific mentors available with them or not. Because mentoring and hand-holding goes hand in hand. Uh, and that is what uh, you really need to decide on. So what you really need to look at is the different platforms that are available within the startup ecosystem and how would you really select and that is how uh, you should really focus your strategy on, on selecting the right platforms. There are uh, different aspects when you start off as a founder or as, a, as an entrepreneur, uh, you start off with an idea and for idea what uh, may be possible for you is to utilize certain grants that are available through government which you don't have to really pay back and that's the most important thing that you need to decide whether it's around product then there are a lot of uh, grants available to develop your product. And the second aspect is also at what stage you would need the entire ecosystem support whether that's uh, incubation center or acceleration or uh, maybe connection with few government or corporates. So accordingly if you have validated your idea and validated your business model uh, uh, the timing is very important that at what time and what juncture you meet those set of people and uh, ensure that uh, those interactions are uh, meaningful for both of you, for the startup as well as the stakeholders. I would like to highlight uh, the platform that has been provided by Niti Aayog, Women Entrepreneurship Platform, which is there online, but at the same point of time, uh, it's important that you register for the, those platforms and see exactly uh, how uh, this is being evolved because it starts with mentoring, it starts with uh, prize money, it starts with competition but at the same point of time also looking at the challenges of a woman entrepreneur because as a woman entrepreneur you struggle a lot uh, as a single founder if at all if you are uh, struggling to find a team uh, or a co-founder I think uh, you should really look out for like-minded people uh, the other aspect which you really need to look at is uh, the Niti Aayog or even Department of Science and Technology and Government of India is MSMEs and all are providing a lot of platforms for women. They are scouting for good women entrepreneurs but at the same point of time uh, it should match with the vision of India, it should match with uh, what is it that they are bringing onto the table to change the status quo. And a lot of women entrepreneurs are working on such ideas which is around social impact. So that is what, uh, at this moment, the key words for uh, women entrepreneurs is the social impact, at the same point of time, sustainable business models. And that is what, if they are working on, there are a lot of platforms and opportunities available for women entrepreneurs. So, uh, two key things that uh, you need to really look at is, uh, as a director, as a woman, uh, what are those uh, provisions or platforms for you? And second, most important is what are those different opportunities available based on your business model and solutions that you are building.